researching two species of fish. There's the bluegill and then mosquito fish. And the mosquito fish are an invasive species of fish, and I'm looking at how they can impact the bluegill, which are native species of fish. So I'm kind of just looking at um, the competitive behaviors. When we were writing our proposals for the Anderson grant, we talked about what kind of project we wanted to do and we were getting similar ideas where one of us would want to look at aggression and the other one would want to look at the foraging behavior. So we kind of divided it up and designed similar experiments to where we could coordinate our data and use each other's research. It started off with a lot of reading papers and designing the experiment and then actually this summer starting it we would collect fish from the ponds. We take a rowboat and there's a very long net, which is called the seine. And you start it on one shore, and then it comes, and you kind of loop it in a U. And then at this part in the net, there's this deep pocket. And so when, then we're all in the pond, and we kind of bring the net together and pull it all up so that all the fish are forced into this pocket. And then you just kind of look through and pull out all the fish that are the right ones you're looking for. I used like smaller scale design where there were only one or two fish in the treatment. So I used small plastic shoebox size containers to house the fish and let them starve for 48 hours and put the different treatments in the shoeboxes. I had eight treatments where a combination of bluegill and mosquito fish, male and female mosquito fish too, and then I would film them for 15 minutes and rewatch the film and I would time how long they were feeding and whether they were successful or unsuccessful. I built sort of two cubicles of aquaria and so I had seven aquaria total and then I built some screens around them so they couldn't see people because they get kind of startled. And so in each of these aquaria I would put my different combinations of fish. So either there would be all mosquito fish, all bluegill, bluegill, mosquito fish, all the combinations that I could work out. And when I run the experiment, I put them in their tanks and they're separated by a partition. And the partition serves sort of so that they have these visual and chemical cues and they're in the tanks 24 hours ahead of time so they know that they're there but they can't really interact. And I remove that and halfway through is when I feed them. So I'm looking at how they're behaving before the food, how they're behaving after the food, if there's a difference, if it matters, if the food sort of affects their impact on each other. The female mosquito fish, their number of successful foraging events was influenced by which treatment they were in. I found some trends where the bluegill also are more successful when they are alone, and it's not statistically significant yet, but hopefully with more viewing of videos. Just focusing on males and chasing, I found that before food, they're more aggressive towards the bluegill than after food. You could assume that maybe when the food's there, then they're more focused on eating than chasing these bluegill around. I also found that when it's just the males, there's no difference between pre-food and post-food. They're chasing each other the same, no matter what. Basically, it means that there is something going on where the two different species are influencing each other and how much food they get. If we have similar results where the one species is out competing the other for food and they're also more aggressive towards the other one, then that gives us a greater idea of what these fish are doing in nature, in the wild, and we can understand how they're behaving when they're not in the lab setting. I plan on doing senior research, so I'll have a whole other year of research with this. So I've sort of tapped into it now, and we're running more trials still, so I have all that data to work with. And then, because I'm just looking at aggressive behavior, I can go back and look at everything I've done and maybe even specifically look at the feeding and foraging too. So sort of just dissect more what I have and what I'm working with and create a more in-depth summary of it all.